Thank you for purchasing a genuine Neurosil pressure controller. This video covers calibrating the Series 4900 pneumatic pressure controller. The Series 4900 controller provides control in proportional only, proportional plus reset, differential gap, or transmitter modes. This video highlights the calibration procedures for the proportional only controller. I'm going to talk about two calibration procedures. The startup calibration, which is required after initial installation to place the controller into operation, and the maintenance calibration, which is only required after a component replacement or repair. To perform startup calibration, you need to ensure that the supply pressure is connected to the controller supply input port and that it's properly regulated. Rotate the set point knob to the desired setting. If your controller has a remote set point, simply adjust the remote set point pressure to the desired value. If you have a fast process, the proportional band adjustment will be set to 100%. You should momentarily upset the system by gently tapping the flapper. Watch the control operation while you're doing this. If the controlled pressure doesn't cycle, lower the proportional band and upset the system again. Continue this process until the system cycles. Then double the proportional band setting. We don't recommend adjusting the proportional band until the system is stable because it could lead to further instability in cycling. The proportional band adjustment interacts with the set point adjustment. An offset from set point may result depending upon a proportional band setting and process demand. The controller must be re-zeroed after any proportional band adjustment. Carefully rotate the nozzle until the process pressure is equal to the set point knob setting. If you have a controller with a remote set point, rotate the nozzle until the process pressure is equal to the remote set point pressure. If you repair the controller or replace a controller component, you'll need to do a maintenance calibration. First, position the calibration adjuster so that the two adjuster screws are at the approximate mid position of the slots. This is a rough span setting. Next, set the pressure setting knob to the desired value and rotate the proportional band adjustment knob until the output pressure is stable. Then adjust the nozzle until the sensed pressure is the same as the pressure setting knob value. Verify the setting by moving the pressure setting knob to a different value. The process pressure should read the same as the new setting. If the results are not within the desired accuracy, a factory calibration may be necessary. Contact your Norseal factory technical experts for a comprehensive factory calibration guideline. For more information, download our new series 4900 Operations and Maintenance Manual at www.norseal.com.